Hello guys and welcome to part 3 of our M16 tutorial Alright So we're going to start off by going to edit mesh Now you want to go to merge vertex tool And grab this vertex here and merge it with this one Then you want to grab this vertex And just pull it out in the Z a bit Pull it out in the Z a bit Grab the rest of these vertexes and just scale them in the Z and pull them out again. <coughs> you want to grab this vertex here and pull this out in the Z as well just to try to keep it nice and straight. And now if you select your model, well first select these faces and go to scale and scale them in the Z as well. Okay. So what you want to do is you can go to object mode and click this button here and it isolates it. Grab a vertex, go to your side view and just try line it up. Try and make that blackness disappear like that. Try to keep it nice and straight. Alright, go back to your perspective view and click this again to show your model. Delete this edge here. Then you want to go to split polygon tool, insert a split here to here. Then you want to slip this edge down here and go to bevel. And you want the offset to be about 0.25. And you want to insert a split to so split polygon tool again. And you want to insert about here here to here all right so now if you select these two vertexes here you can lift them up in the wire bit and go to your front view and just try to make it match this picture here <coughs> then grab these vertexes and just pull them out a bit more Select this face here, and you want to extrude it. So extrude the face and just pull this out. And you want to take it right to the end, so like that. <coughs> and you want to select the top and the bottom edge and delete this face. So remember, delete that face, then select the top and the bottom edge. So top, bottom. Then go to bevel and you can leave the offset to about 0.5. <coughs> then go to split polygon tool and you want to insert a split from here to right down here. Then you want to go to edit mesh, insert edge loop and insert it about halfway. You want to grab the bottom vertexes and pull them down, the top one and pull them up, like that. Alright. So now you want to select this edge, this edge, and all the edges running across the M16. So here, here, and all these ones up here. And then you want to extrude these out. And click W to go to your move tool and move them out in the Z. Alright, now as you can see it messes up the top and bottom bit. So you want to go to this edge and just pull this up in the X a bit. And this edge. So if you go to vertex mode, you can select this vertex here and just pull it down and grab this one as well and do the same. Alright, and we're going to line them up later to make them straight. But for this one, select this edge here and you want to pull it in a Y, I meant Z, sorry. 
and just to make it nice and straight. So what you want to do right is you want to go to vertex mode and select the vertexes all across here like that and when you want to scale them in there's Z alright and then if your vertex here are messed up just get the vertex and pull it in the Z a bit and pull this one as well. If not, just leave them as they are because they're perfect. Alright, so what you want to do is grab these edges here. And you want to pull them out in the Z. And same with these ones. And finally, same with these ones, like that. Alright, don't do this, just select all three of them. And then just pull these out together. Alright, and that should be good. And then finally select the top one and just pull these out a bit more as well. So now what we want to do is center the pivot if you haven't already, like that, and you want to go to mesh, and then mirror geometry, and if you go to the options you can just click minus Z, uh, Z and it'll work, if not just go direction Z plus in the options, and drag the pivot Z to about, I think it's about 1.9. 1.95 that it does it to, yeah. When you want to make the merge mode, go to merge border edges. And you want the merge threshold to be about 0 0.01. Then move a pivot Z in a bit, just until everything's nice and merged. Like that, so about 0.195. And it'll do, it'll do. So what you want to do now, is just checking his model for any vertexes that have merged, which you shouldn't have. So you want to go to delete all by type and history on edit, <coughs> and then go to edit, and select these edges here by double clicking this one here, and finally this bottom one here, and you want to go to delete edges. Do not just click delete, just go to edit mesh and delete edge or vertex. By clicking delete you're doing it wrong and you'll mess up your model. Alright, so don't do that. And you want to go to your front view and you're going to get a cube. And you're going to grab the cube and pull it out to this distance and just tap it to finish. Then you want to grab these vertexes here and pull them back and these ones here and pull them forward. And now if you go to object mode and select it, just scale Y in about 0.85 is good. Then you want to pull it out in a perspective view. You want to delete this face here and this face here. And then you want to move it, or you can grab this face and pull it out. But before you scale, you'll have to go to modify and center pivot. So I'll go to your top view and then click 4 so you can see it through the model. And like I said, you want to go to modify and center pivot. And then you can scale it out in the Z to about
point one point five is good here. One point five. And then if you go to your side view again or front view, you can go to another polygon cube. And this time we're doing a trigger. And I'm sorry for coughing all the time, but I've got like a ticklish cough. <coughs> right, so you want to go to your perspective view. And you want to pull it out and then grab this top face and just delete it. Grab the bottom face and extrude it. And then just pull this down and just scale it a bit in the uh, X. And then extrude again by clicking G. And then just rotate it a bit and then scale it. And then click G again and do the same scale and rotate. There's also another way to do it if you want, which is moving the vertexes after when you've extruded to try and get a nice curve in your model it's really up to you how you do it if you want to extrude and scale and rotate or if you want to just move vertexes it's all up to you so you want to extrude again and this time we're selecting the vertexes and just moving them in place like this so just try and match the vertexes with a picture <coughs> as you can see it's moving out to give it a nice curving shape so it don't look hard and rigid <coughs> alright so you want to grab a bottom face again and then this is a final extrusion for the trigger you want to pull it out here you want to go to vertex mode and just line these vertexes up All right now again if you want you can move these vertexes to make a nice curve shape it's really up to you alright and now you can scale it out in the Z a bit the whole model so scale it out to about 2.5 and then insert an edge loop about halfway insert edge loop and you want to grab the front edges and what you want to do then is go to your front view and you want to pull these out then go back to your back edges and you want to pull these out as well after when you select, selected them so like that now we can see that the bottom is a bit messed up so what you want to do is select the bottom edge and just move it down a bit so you can select the vertexes select this vertex here just pull it across in X a bit and this one pull it back in X and pull it up in Y and now because Fred didn't show this bit on the tutorial I'll walk you through it you want to insert another actually select these vertexes first then go to move tool attributes and turn on soft selection and scale it in there Z alright like that and remember turn it off but anyway what you want to do next is add an edge loop halfway through your model at the side and you want to select the side ed uh, faces sorry and you want to extrude them in a bit and Fred will show you at the end of the video what it should look like so right it'll show you at the end but thanks for watching please like please subscribe and keep watching our tutorials all right